to keep the explanations as, as simple as possible so I picked a car pattern already I've got the livery open here or the template open here now I am going I'm going to separate the green and blue from the red here because I'm going to make the green and the blue um, you know the more metallic and less matte so here we are going to hit W for our wand. You are going to pick the color. Um, now I chose solid colors because with like gradients and stuff, it doesn't like to pick up all of the color when you do when you go this route. I'll go to select after I pick the first color, and then I'll hit similar, and it'll select all these cup all these colors or all of the green and then I will copy and paste it so now we just have the green there and then I will do the same with the blues all right so now we can go ahead and hit B for our brush layer um, you'll do the same thing press W for the wand hit select similar so you actually select it if you just start brushing over this layer it'll do it over the whole thing and not in these areas where you need it so we'll do that Once you have your livery, we'll leave this all here, but I would start by duplicating each file or each layer one by one and placing them in the corresponding boxes. We can get rid of this main car body here. Um, so you'll have a base paint in each layer. You can either paint that or you can just do what I'm about to do and delete these. We'll copy this twice. And then once I get everything in here, I will show you what you actually need to pay attention to. Because I think the um, both both iRacing videos that were released on this are still pretty confusing, so why I'm doing this. Everything there. We'll turn the car decals off. Um, I honestly haven't gone through and done that yet, though I think you would just repeat this if you wanted these. Like here, I'll do these. We'll do these super shiny. Let me see if this works properly. I've tried to do this yet, but we are going to do it together. Okay. So every 
almost everything here. Well, yeah, everything there is in our proper channels. And um, another thing that came from the iRacing videos, the parts, I would just put these on top. I'm not sure exactly what they're for. Just kind of following directions here. Okay, we'll turn off the paintable area. Turn on our spec map. Okay, now this is the important part. Bring this in here. Now you'll see on this graph, with this engine, this engine that they've implemented, this is how you, they are determining how, how shiny your car is and then, or whether it's metallic or not, and then the roughness of that object. So, if we go up to here, if we go up to the metallic box, you've got to decipher whether these materials are metallic or not first off. So, this is the, the first scale that you're going to start on for each layer, for each decal, or for the base paint, whatever you want to do. So like I said, we are going to make this matte, the teal part we are going to make matte. So I'm going to make this as dark as possible. Um, we will do this. The easiest way is to go to just color overlay and this will just lay over a color over this layer, over this entire layer. Hit okay. And then you won't actually see the color change uh, until you rasterize it. So this, this is the yellow. Um, go back if you need to I would go back look at your paint and you know just make sure that you're going over the right layer um, for the yellow we do want to make this as metallic as possible so we are going to make it white and we'll do that again with the color overlay go up to white and um, basically you want to stay all the way left on this scale here so this is determining, you know, where that object lies on the metallic scale. So we'll do that as pure white. Rasterize that layer. Um, let me turn this image off so you can see what's going on here. And then this is the black part portion. as possible so we've got that as white hit okay rasterize and then that is done that's all you have to do um, so we will do the opposite on this end so okay now this is we will bring the scale back up now we have decided that the, the teal is non-metallic so you start on you know, I, I set that at zero, at, as dark as it can get. So, now that it's decided that that material is non-metallic, you come down here to the roughness side of it. So, again, we've decided that it's non-metallic, you'll be looking on this bottom scale. So, let me take this to about 55, so in between there. Um, so when you do that, you'll come down here, this is that percentage, this is the, the scale that you're seeing. Do this as 5, 5, and then you'll see it's in the middle, hit OK, do the same thing. Um, so we'll rasterize this layer, we'll turn this off again, um, and then we will go up through the rest of these. Because, again, we have decided on the metallic side that this is, that this in fact is metallic. This is this that you are going to look at this top scale. So, you'll want this as dark as possible to make it as shiny as possible. Take this down. 
Let me turn that off again. Okay. Rasterize. And then I don't actually think I need to do it over this one, but I will. Just blank. Okay. Rasterize. Okay, so I forgot about the card decals. So let me. Now we are done on the spec map. Now that our livery is done, we will go save our target files. 500. Okay, I'm going to delete this because I don't want it showing up. Actually, let me just rename it for now. and then we've got our matte base coat okay so real quick I'm going to show how you can flip this if you decide that you don't like the way that it is we will go backwards so we'll go color color overlay instead of dark on the base you want the base bright and then we will take these other two um, dark Obviously, you don't have to change anything on your actual livery itself to change your spec maps around like this. So I had that one kind of gray, so this brighter. Well, let me go back, and this is what I'm talking about. You'll need to refer back to this. So we decided the base was metallic. Now, we need it as dark as possible. See, even I 
I screwed up there, and that's why I saved that. So this on the roughness side needs to go dark, and these others need to go light. how you do your spec maps now oh, and when we go back and look at the decals you can see that these are back to a proper map um, although the resolution is complete ass yeah there is your spec maps delivery Kind of loud. Okay, so um, one thing is when you when you do this and you join any session, Trading Paints will automatically create an MIP file. Now, um, so we will go to Trading Paints. done this to my supercar so after you upload your base livery you will go up here again you will come back to this page go to your choose paint and then you will it, it'll say add spec map right here as you can see I already have mine on here so now it says remove spec, spec map all right, and I think that should be a much easier way of looking at this um, spec map stuff. So let me know if you guys need any further help, and I'll do my best to assist in your livery making process.